Let's demonstrate how to control wired and wireless network connections on a Red Hat system. If I click on the upper right hand corner, for instance, if I want to look at the wired connection, I can just scroll down to the wired connection, and then wired settings, and it asks me for my password, the root, the root password, because it, it wants to have a super user only control network connections. And you'll see I have a 1,000 megabit connection. If I click on the gear icon, I can control the settings. On the details first screen, it says it connects automatically when the system starts, and all users can use it. On identity, I give what the name of the interface looks like, not the name of the system. Uh, in older systems, that would have been ETH0, ETH1, etc. But as we will discuss later, Newer systems have these more complex names. Under IPv4, we control the basic internet protocol systems settings. Most of the time, you'll leave it alone at automatic DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, where the system figures out its address from the server, etc. If you understand how the importance of manual settings, you can specify an address, a net mask, a gateway, you can select a particular DNS server, and you can specify routes to certain addresses. If you understand those concepts, this is where you would go to control all that. We're not changing anything, so I'll just hit cancel. Now, if I want to control Wi-Fi settings, I could go back to that upper right corner, or I can just click on the Wi-Fi setting here. And once again, it's asking me for the super user password. These are the different wireless networks that have to be, that are available at the moment. They all have locks next to them, means they require a password. This is the one that I'm actually on, CoopJ, the first one. And if I click on the settings there, once again, it's going to ask me for um, my, my super user password. And I see essentially the exact same settings I had on the wired connection. The, automatic startup as other people use it, the identity, and whether I want to use DHCP or set things manually or not. So that's all there really is in the graphical interface to control basic network connections. It's rather simple and it looks the same on all recent Linux distributions.